Hello everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to configure an ASUS router as a media bridge. I'll be covering in this video what is a media bridge and how it differs from a repeater let's say and what are the use cases for a media bridge. I'm gonna show you of course how to configure it, what you need to configure it. I'm gonna show you also what applications you can enable through the media bridge. So what are the configurations that are possible after you configure a router as a media bridge and I'm gonna show you also how to get the IP of the media bridge so that you can manage it. So let me start by explaining what is a media bridge and how it differs from a repeater mode and why you need a media bridge. So this here is a picture of the media bridge on my Asus router. So notice here on the left you have the internet connection and this is the main router and this is here the media bridge router after you configure it it will be here. So it will have a dedicated wireless connection to the main router and your streaming clients, the clients that need media streaming, will be connected physically to the media bridge so that they don't compete on wireless connections to the main router. And this is the main benefit of a media bridge. So they connect physically and the media bridge function is to provide the maximum throughput of wireless connection to the main router. Now, how it differs from the repeater mode. So let me select here repeater mode. You can see the difference. Now in repeater mode, the router also can connect clients through wireless connections. And this puts a load on the router. And this is why a media bridge router is better for like PCs that you want to stream all the time on them or TVs or even game PCs. So now that being said, let me show you how to configure an ASUS router as a media bridge. As an example in this video, I'll be using two ASUS routers. The main router will be an RTAX 58U or RTAX 3000. And as a media bridge router, I'm going to be using the RTAC 1900, which is the RTAC 68U. So let's start the configuration. The first thing to do is you need to hardware reset your media bridge router. And this is the AC 68U. Turn it on first. And then it has a button here for reset. Of course, look for your routers. Where is the button for reset? So I'm going to press this button and hold it for five seconds. And you're going to see the lights blinking. And when the lights blink, release the button and the router should reset. When the router resets, you need to connect it physically to your PC on one of its LAN ports so that you can configure it as a media bridge. And here I connected it to this LAN port and I'm going to switch now to screen recording to show you how to configure it as a media bridge. On the same PC where you connected physically the router that will be a media bridge, open a web browser and then go to this website router.asus.com and here this is the splash screen of the configuration of a new Asus router and in our case it is the RTAC 68U. So click here on advanced settings and here click on choose operation mode and here you see you have many operations mode we need to select media bridge so click on it so now the router will search for wireless networks and we're gonna choose the wireless network that we want to extend as a media bridge so now choose your wireless network here you can sort here if you want by frequency for instance by name so let me sort it by name and let me go to my network so i want to extend my network here. On this page, put the password of the network that you just selected before. So I'm going to put it here. When you put the password, click on next and then click on automatic IP. On this page, you need to provide an administration name and password so that you can manage your media bridge router. So I'm going to put something here very simple. Of course, put the information you want here. And once you put all the information, click on next. And now the router will apply the settings and it will restart. So here at this stage, you need to wait for the router to restart. Give it like a couple of minutes so that it applies the information and then it restarts. When the router restarts, it will redirect you directly to its admin page. So let's log in here with the user that we created for this. And here we need to download and install a piece of software that will help us in the future to go to the admin page of this router. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Click on administration and then here under media bridge, scroll until you find something called device discovery utility. Click on it. 
and then save it in your downloads folder and when it is downloaded open it and you need to install this piece of software here from asus i already installed it and this software is called device discovery i'm gonna show you how to use it and why you need to use it so this software will help you in the future to go to the administration page of your media bridge router to manage it let me show it to you quickly so i'm gonna launch it here and let's type device discovery so now it is launched let's click on yes and here it is so here it detected directly the asus routers that i have on my network here it happened that i have as a main network the rtax 58u and i have also the rtac 68u that is acting as a media bridge so if i want to configure it in the future let me close this so that i can show you how to do it so you have just to click on it and then click on configure and it will take you directly to the administration page of your media bridge router so let me log back in here and i'm gonna show you a little bit what are the applications of the media bridge router so notice here because this router is in media bridge mode it doesn't have all the configurations that you can find in other asus routers and here on the main page you have some information about your media bridge so first it will tell you that the operation mode it is media bridge here it will tell you that it is connected to the parent access point which is the main router by 5 gigahertz and this is the link rate which is 866 megabits per second which is great and this is here the power the transmission power but here what is important to us is to see what we can do with this mode so because it is a media bridge mode I advise you to share your USB on this router if it has a USB connection. So click on USB application. And here you can click on server center for instance. And you can share your USB as a UPnP media server. So here it is activated. Just give it any name. I'm going to give it here the name RTAC1900. And then you click on apply. And this way you can also use the usb key that you plug into this media bridge router so that you can stream on your devices so that was it for the media bridge mode in your asus router by the way if you're using your asus router as a media bridge mode let me know in the comments if you like this mode and if it is useful for you i hope that you liked this video and found it useful if you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly. And this way you'll not miss any future video I make. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.